at that point, I really believed I could do anything. Like I felt invincible, maybe immortal almost. And then entropy hit us much harder than ever before. Way before this story starts, I, I was an old school physicist. And to be honest, I forgot pretty much all of it, uh, but not this. What you see here is the symbol for entropy as announced. And entropy relates to the uh, second law of thermodynamics. And um, it's the most devastating force in the universe. It's basically the reason why order will never exist for very long and chaos always wins. And my story is about exactly that. By the end of the 90s, I stumbled into the internet scene. So I was there when the first dot-com bubble appeared and also when it collapsed in 2001. So at that time, pretty much everybody in the industry went broke. And so did we. And it was my first taste of entropy. A few years later, I was asked to become chief architect at a tiny startup called Album Printer. This company allows you to order uh, physical photo books from digital photos. And you may know it under its new name, Albelli. And this company was a huge success. We produced thousands of unique, bo unique books a day, making millions. And in 2010, the company was acquired for close to 80 million euro in what was one of the biggest exits in the Netherlands at the time. I used my modest share of that money um, to start Peachup. Its platform, it powers apps and websites that sell their digital content as customized prints. It's basically a super scalable business model and we were on a roll, uh, or well, we were in the beginning. Because things got out of hand quickly. We, we became kind of famous. We won competitions from the Next Web and the Accenture Awards. We were covered by TechCrunch, Venture Beat, The Atlantic, The Economist, even CNN. And my co-founder Martijn and I, we got featured in Quote Magazine, which is a magazine about the rich people in the Netherlands as new heroes, not once, but twice in one year. Even Wired Magazine crowned us the hottest startup of Amsterdam with a big spread photo. But that's probably when it got to my head. At that point, I really believed I could do anything. Like I felt invincible, maybe immortal almost. And then entropy hit us much harder than ever before. So just for context, bad decision-making is often caused by being overconfident. So if your life goes really well for a while, it sort of creates an illusion of control. So in my case, it led to what, for example, scientists call overplacement, which is heavily overestimating your own cap capabilities. So basically, I started taking risks, risks that I shouldn't have taken. And it was only a matter of time before something would go drastically wrong. Besides technology and startups, I'm obsessed with sports, in particular fighting. And I started off with Kung Fu and then gradually increased the level of violence to end up with MMA at the time of this story. And MMA stands for Mixed Martial Arts, and that's essentially cage fighting. And in the summer of 2012, at the peak of all the media attention, a training session went horribly wrong. I had an accident in the ring and ended having a big stroke about a week later. I lost about a third of my brain that day. I could not speak or walk anymore. And it took me two years to recover with the help of doctors, physiotherapists, neurologists, and even a foundation to help me cope with the social impact of brain damage. And some of that damage is permanent. You may, maybe you don't notice it, but I still have trouble speaking. I feel nothing on the right side of my body. I have only partial vision in my right eye. And the worst thing, I have virtually no short-term memory, so I may not recognize you even if we just met. Anyway, in, in the meantime, my co-founder worked overtime to keep Picho up and running. And I kept my head down and focused on our technology, 
avoiding other people as much as I could. And then slowly things got better. And back on my feet, I eventually left the company to become CTO at great companies like Sumis and My Tomorrow's. And in the meantime, Picho bounced back. So under new management today, the company is doing really, really well. Also, I'm currently co-founder and CEO at yet another startup. I am trying to accept still that everything changes uh, and nothing lasts forever, even if it seems so. And it may seem obvious to you, but I, I, I finally realized that no matter how perfect your life is, it will not stay that way. Because the second law of thermodynamics cannot be stopped. So no matter how successful you may seem, uh, it, it, will, it will end. And you will simply have to go with the flow in the meantime. And that to me is a very humbling thought because it makes me enjoy the now a lot more than it used to. I even picked up a, a new hobby, which is called obstacle course racing. <laughs> and that's called, <laughs> that's going very well. I participated in both the European and the world championships multiple times now without breaking my neck so far. <laughs>